Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about something that I personally haven't made a video about. And this is going to be about the ship system, basically to be able to progress your ship up to level 110, 120, and 130. So, let's talk about it. So, if you guys are not aware, if you're on global server right now, this feature shouldn't be available yet. But if you're on C server, this should be uh, right there. And I think every other server except for global server has this. I'm not sure about JP though. Yeah, I'm not too sure about JP. So what you need to do is if you go to the uh, management, right? If you go to the ship right here, you notice some ship here. Chorus, I have 120. So Blue Bridge Mark 2, I have this ship at 110. Now you're also going to be able to obtain a bonus stats. Now what is this thing all about, right? So this is called the remodel or upgrade system. It's like a rearm system. Just think of it like you have an SSR character or for rearm's case, you have an SR. You're able to bring them up to an SSR and then they get stronger. Progressively, your ship are able to get stronger. So let me show you guys right here, I have Enterprise. So notice if I go to this section right now, I have this remodel uh, section that I can increase the ship to 110. You can see Command Module Stage 1 Unlock and then I will be able to get bonus stats. But the problem is it's very expensive. Now it's going to be about, what is this, uh, 10 million, wait, is this 10 million or 1 million? 1 million, okay, my bad, uh, there's too many zero cluttered together. So you can, all you need is a dupe ship. So Enterprise, you can click on this, if you've made a ship before, now you will be able to basically uh, get this ship up. So let me go to the uh, HQ, we're gonna craft one ship. Now, first things first, why haven't I talked about this mode for any of the videos ever, right? Uh, number one, I don't really like this system that much. I'll be honest with you guys, I hate this system. Uh, we're gonna talk about why more at the end of the video. Number two is like, it's simple enough to understand that I don't need to make a specific guide, but I want to talk about it briefly in this video because uh, it's more to give you guys an idea of what ships can benefit from this. So notice I need to build an entire enterprise. So yes, you're gonna need 100 special ship schematics you're gonna need 50 heavy coverings. You're gonna need 500 of these prime ship materials. Yes, it's very, very expensive. So you will need to build an entire ship all together from level on level one. Fortunately, you do not need to level them up. So they can work at level one. So you are able to go to the, uh, I'm very confused with the interface. A uh, HQ, wait, not, not HQ. The uh, management, right? And then from there, you will be able to uh, it will give you an option now, remodel. Now if I click this, notice, now I can basically do this implant system. This will push me to level 110. By the way, this is just the first stage. You can do this up to three times. All right, so first stage will unlock the first uh, command module number one. Now, let's talk about this specifically. First, let me do this first. Now I have the ability to level up to 110. You can install command module on this ship. So let me level this up to 110. Notice I'm going to use a lot of this thing. Prime ship materials, the Eternium propellant, boom, another 1 million. And then you can do this again to be able to unlock the command module. What the heck is a command module? So let me click on this section. Uh, I don't think you guys can see it, but my face cam is covering it. So there's this section called the command module, up to three command module, right? So you will be able to get one, two, and three. So. Uh, this is where your ship are or is able to get bonus stats. So for the slot one, notice right here. So socket one, socket two. How this works is, you know what, let me install the module, then it will be easier for me to explain. I'm going to install the module. The first module is going to be free. So uh, like this one, the first two that you get, this is going to be free. You can see I got pretty lucky there. Counter, melee damage 2.4% and then I got ranger, Attack speed increased by 2.6%. Not bad. So you can basically have the ability to lock one of the socket using this material, the SP memory. And then if you want to, you can re-roll the stats using like, you know how you can re-roll the gear stats using binaries? But in the ship stats, you can re-roll using these things. The supply tree of this heavy covering, 30 of this black box fragment. It's going to consume quite a lot actually, and you have three slots for your ship, remember? Now, let's talk specifically about the stats, uh, each individual stats. So for module one, from your ship to 110, you will have the ability to set as follows, right? So for example, this one, you can see uh, employee 
one one employee type is randomly selected. Sometimes it can be, uh, it, you can get the wrong one. So you have to be careful. Uh, for example, it will be between counter, um, counter, mag, and soldier. And then you will get, depending, I got lucky with the counter right here. Counter melee damage 2.4%. And this is for enterprise ship. Obviously, you want counter, right? So it makes a lot of sense. And then this one will be randomly selected. Uh, either attack, crit, hit, crit damage, special skill damage amplification, ultimate skill damage amplification, defense penetration, range damage, melee damage. You can see there's a lot of RNG right there. 2.4%. Is this a good stat? For a 2.4%, I would say it's... Hmm. Melee damage. Melee damage is this particular one. So I can get... My range is between 1 to 3%. So 2.4% is in the higher side. So I would say this is a pretty good RNG. I did got lucky right here. And then the second one, the socket 2, you can see one employee role is randomly selected. Alright, so what is an employee role? It's like striker, defender. Uh, in this case, I got ranger. Right, I got lucky with ranger. And then you will randomly choose one of these stats. Now you can see it's a very convoluted thing. I don't like it because it's so rng Reliant. I'm not sure how many of you guys think uh, to yourself right now and look at this like this is a good system because I honestly think it's not. Like that's just how I feel. All right. Honest opinion. I don't like this system as much. Uh, yeah. That's just for module one, by the way. Let's go into module two. Module two is for your ship to go up to 100 from 110 to 120. Now, same thing applies, right? You can see uh, same concept. And then this time, I believe the, the stats here is going to be a little bit different. Attack, hit, crit. This one is HP, defense, evasion, uh, debuff, resistance. This is more of a defensive role. You can see there's uh, crit damage resistance. There is anti-soldier damage rest. There's anti-make damage rest. There's anti-air damage rex. Whereas the slot one is more offensive. Anti-counter damage, anti-soldier damage. Anti-ground damage is the ideal one, but good luck. Good luck getting that specifically. Uh, for me, I'm happy with Ranger attack speed. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, Socket 2, you're going to have more option. Socket 3, the last one, to be able to get your ship up to level 130. Bam. Again, lots of lots of stats right here. Uh, yeah, Socket 3 basically is a combination of stats from Socket 1 and Socket 2. So the RNG is even crazier. Like, oof, look, look at the amount of stats right here, right? From crit damage to uh, attack speed, to evasion, to crit damage, etc, etc, etc. Now, like I said, this is not something that, uh, you know, you're gonna need to build a lot of ship, right? That's a sad part. Building a lot of ship is probably, I think that was, that's going to be the easiest one, right? The I think that's quite easy right now in global, in C, in whatever server you are from, to be able to build multiple uh, of the same ship. I don't think it's much of an issue because you should be able to have a lot of materials. Uh, although this one is quite hard to get though. The prime ship material, this one is really really hard to, to get. You can farm that. You can also buy this right here from the dive uh, dive material. But yeah, these things are something that you're going to need a lot for sure. Uh, let me spend about 220. Is that enough? Okay, and then now we're going to need special ship schematics this one is gated right you guys are familiar with this one if you go to the shop you can only buy a 10 special ship schematics 15 15 every single week so this there's no way for you to get more of it like dive has some if you push your dive a little bit yeah you can get some from there but i think they have changed the dive ever since so now you're gonna get less of the special ship schematics which is why overall it's kind of a bad system the new dive is bad Global don't feel it yet because Global don't haven't ha gotten this system yet. So having less special ship schematics, dive doesn't reset uh, every three months anymore. And I think you get quite a lot of special ship schematics from the whole dive reset, right? From dive one to dive fifty, if you can do everything every three months, it resets. You can do all over again. But now the dive is like it has changed, right? You you can only do it once. As far as I know, there's no more reset. So yeah, that that's one thing to take note of. Uh, that can affect some of these things. Uh, obviously, it's cheaper to get your S SR ship compared to your SSR ship ETC ETC. Now, uh, let's talk about which ship should you prioritize then, right? So which one should you get to 110? 
120, 130. So which one should be your priority as a player, ideally? Uh, there is no... It's hard to give advice right now because I don't think you really need this per se, right? It's like, it's not something that you actually need in PvE. That's, that's all I can I can say for now. Most PvE, you should be able to do it uh, with a level 100 ship for sure. So where this is going to shine or this is going to make a, some sort of an impact is going to be in PvP. Where you're fighting other players, you are going to be able to feel a difference. If your ship is level 100, enemy ship is level 130, and they have like 3 modules installed, and all the modules have like good stats, you can sort of feel, okay, their units are going to be stronger. I For me, I can sort of feel it, you know, which is why I've been focusing on Blue Bridge Mark II. Uh, I think Blue Bridge Mark II is going to be the staple ship for PvP for a long while, uh, depending on what kind of team you run, right? If you run Mac, Coffin 6, good candidate. If you run Soldier Team, then Metador Ship. If you tend to go for Universal, then maybe go for Enterprise, or you can wait for the Enterprise uh, Quad, which is going to be a very good ship as well. Uh, but yeah, and Chorus. Again, personal opinion, uh, I think this might... If I can say something about this game mode, is I don't like it and I don't think it's needed in the game. Alright, that's just a straightforward, honest opinion because uh, all it does is it makes the game more pay to win than it should be. Yeah, the game is already pay to win, I know, but it's like it's more pay to win, another layer for players to spend. I get it, right? So, um, I've seen some of the battle that I actually lost is because enemy actually has like... This one is pretty good, look at this. A ranger anti-ground damage and then defender crit damage rest. So you can look at your enemies one and be like, wow, this is pretty impressive, right? Some of the ones, like, there are some that I can straight up see really, really strong. Like, when I fight them, how are they so strong? And then I look at the some of the ship modules, like this one as well. You can see crit damage, mech barrier enhancement, 13.6%. That's going to be a big help, right, for mech that can generate barrier, uh, like Horizon and stuff. And then Defender incoming healing. This is kind of... You can't deny that this is kind of, uh, you know, an advantage in PvP, for sure. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't think this is like a... It doesn't make the game more fun. All it does is it confuses more players. And I don't know, if you guys are watching this from global server, eventually you will have this coming to... Uh, this is going to come to global as well. I'm not sure when. Maybe if I have to guess somewhere in... Somewhere next month in April, because I think as far as I know, March... In the roadmap, there is no indication of this mood listed in there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, subscribe, give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.